So this question says in triangle ABC, angle B is a right angle. So I'm going to just draw the triangle, label that angle as B, label it as 90 degrees, and then have A and C there. So I'm basically using the strategy plug in picture um, because anytime a question describes something that can be drawn, I like to actually draw it out. So in triangle ABC, angle B is a right angle. The length of side AB is 10 root 37, so I'm going to label that as 10 square root 37. And the length of side BC is 24 square root 37, so I'm going to label that as 24 square root 37. What is the length of AC? Okay, well, first of all, this is a right triangle. We know two sides of the right triangle. So to find the third side, we can simply use Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this case, our a squared will be 10 root 37 squared plus our b squared will be 24 root 37 squared equals c squared. So 10 root 37 squared will be 10 squared, which is 100 times square root 37 squared, which is just 37, so 100 times 37, plus 24 root 37 squared becomes 24 squared, which, going to my calculator, is 576, and then 37, square root 37 squared is just 37, and we have c squared there. So 100 times 37 is 3,700, so 3,700 plus 576 times 37 is 21,312. So 21,312 equals C squared. Combine the, everything on the left-hand side. So 3,700 plus 21,312 is 25,012. So 25,012 equals C squared. I can then square root both sides and go to my calculator. So it looks like the answer choices tell me. So there's one of two ways. First way, I just square root this in my calculator and um, I get 158.152 as my C value. Obviously none of my answers are in decimal form, but that doesn't mean I can't make them decimal form, right? I can go to choice A and say, well, what is, um, 14 times the square root of 7. And I get that this is equal to 85 point whatever, which is not the value that we want. How about choice B? What is 26 times the square root of 7? 37, I'm sorry. And there I do get the exact same value, 158.152, which means choice B must be the correct answer. Another way to look at this, though, is if, again, I went back to having 25, 12 equals C squared, I can look at my answer choices and say, well, they all have a, 30, a root 37 involved, right? So if I wanted to simplify this when I square root it, I can say, well, what, what is 25, 12 divided by 37? So I'm going to go back to my calculator, 25, 0, 1, 2 divided by 37 is 676. So this would be 676 here. And then what's the square root of 676? That's 26. This becomes 26 root 37. And you can see that also obviously takes us right to choice B. So two different paths, the decimal path and the simplification, the radical simplification path. Either way, we get the answer as choice B here.